But now let's come to actually how we not only rescind the regulations that Congress never authorized, how about actually rescinding the existence of bureaucratic agencies that Congress never authorized? And I'm going to start with an agency that, to many people's surprise, was not, despite getting appropriations yearly, was not actually authorized by Congress. Let's talk about the FBI. This is an agency. If I'm going to make a book recommendation, everybody, I like to write books, but I also like to read them from time to time. G-Man. It's actually a great book. It's not, a, not some Republican guy. I think he's like a Yale historian. Came out in the last couple of years. Pulitzer Prize winner laying out the history of J. Edgar Hoover's legacy in the FBI. How this was an institution that was created to be corrupt from the beginning. The same one that used illegally collected tapes to threat, threaten Martin Luther King Jr. into committing suicide, they tried to do, is now being used to target political opponents of a different persuasion. Where does the corruption come from? It comes from something you'd predict should exist for a bureaucracy that sits in between a DOJ, like the equivalent of local prosecutors at the local level, and say other police enforcement arms like the U.S. Marshals, which haven't been corrupted in the same way as the FBI. So this is what the situation looks like today. That's the status quo. And in more detailed plans, for ease here, we've used a short version. There'll be more detailed versions right now up on Vivek2024.com laying out even more detailed reorganization plans. This is deeply pragmatic. Take the 35,000 employees at the FBI. 20,000 of them are in non-essential functions back office roles, many of whom report into, of all building names, I'm not making it up, the J. Edgar Hoover building right here in Washington, D.C. They're going to go home when we shut it down and find honest work in the private sector. But 15,000 of those employees are going to be reorganized into the U.S. Marshals, into the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network at the U.S. Treasury, into other parts, the DEA that are taken on the drug enforcement, the drug enforcement problems that we have in this country. Because part of the problem when you have a bureaucracy that runs this deep is that they find things to do that they shouldn't have been doing in the first place. Post 9-11, what happened with the FBI is they took on counterterrorism from drug enforcement to child sex trafficking to financial crimes and white collar network enforcement. These are areas where people had no specialization in the first place and they're rotating so we're at once less effective in actually enforcing the laws on the books while also creating the formula for the corruption that we now suffer today. And this is where I think we face a choice. Do you want incremental reform, replace Christopher Wray with James Comey or James Comey 2.0, or recognize that it's actually the underlying machine that was the source of the corruption itself? And I believe the only correct answer to restore the integrity of our law enforcement apparatus will be to begin with shutting down an institution like the FBI itself. <laughs>